I wanted to show you when I have um, pieces of towel that are left over from cutting up towels um, it's a shame to waste it so I use every bit I've got and you end up with rough edges on both sides some people do just zigzag or overlock the edge um, and use it but I do like to have a nice neat looking edge um, sometimes I might use the alternate colour so for instance this is a yellow hood and if I had a navy blue bath towel I would use navy blue edging just for decoration really um, but in this purpose I'm, I'm actually going to use some yellow um, I've made this myself um, just using yellow cotton uh, what I initially did was had two inch strip that measured over 26 inches long as this is 26 inches um, and then I folded it in half like that ironed it along and then brought it to the middle ironed and so on then <clears throat> folded it in and pressed it so I've got some nice roughly one centimeter um, wide bias tape I've also got a cheats method um, rather than pinning and having a wobbly edge and, and so on and just a whole possibilities of nightmare scenarios I do cheat and I use some fusible bias tape um, this is actually 12 mil wide um, and to save money really um, to economize where possible I cut it uh, along the center so that I divided it into two because you don't need it to be as wide as the bias edging um, so I have already gone along and ironed it onto the bias um, tape so what I do is I peel the edge off sometimes it can be a bit stubborn so I just peel one edge off um, and discard that and then I'm going to just lay the towel edging along because you need to iron the top of it right it, it's no good doing it underneath because it won't it won't stick with the the heat the, the heat won't go through the towel I'm sorry so it's it really is only just to get it to to sort of stick long enough uh, for you to sew it in place um, so I've got that there I make sure as I'm going that the towel is tucked right close up against the middle um, and I just keep doing that and because I've left the tape on the underside piece I'm not um, at risk of ironing the tape in the wrong part on the other side So I just keep doing that. And I shall come back in a moment when I've done both sides. So there we have it. It's all pressed um, and sealed all the way along. Just a little bit trim, but that's fine. As long as it's stuck down. Now all I have to do is simply just do a straight running stitch all the way along to seal it in place um, and that will be a nice finish to the edge of the towel uh, for when you're looking at the hood so I should go off and stitch that um, and then I will come back when I stitch the design to show you how to attach it to the bath sheet or the bath towel to complete the design So I finished stitching the edge um, and I've done a double row just for safety really, for future. Um, that's not going to go anywhere, that's not going to come apart. Um, and uh, both sides are done neatly um, and it gives a nice finish and a nice look uh, for me to complete the towel. So I finished the hooded towel and um, I've done the cowgirl one. Uh, I'm not sure, I can't remember if I explained in the first place, but the actual size 
of the towel you need to start with for the hood uh, usually is 26 inches long and between 8 to 10 inches deep. Um, I actually do increase the size of um, the design by 20% so I actually make it 10 inches deep to allow for that. Um, but that's my preference so obviously you don't have to do that. Um, I've, I did the tape as we said and I then stitched the towel I folded the towel right sides together in half and then I stitched along the back. Uh, I did a zigzag stitch and then a running stitch. It's all in there neatly. Um, then you just fold it that way out. Um, and then we've got the main towel that I finished stitching. And what I need to do is fold that in half. And then get the point of the middle and just pop a pin in there. That just marks the centre of the main towel, the bath towel itself. And then I get the hood. Now we want the right sides together on both the hood and the, the towel. And I just put the pin through both. That saves, saves where it, it's going to be. Um, to sew the hood to the towel, I actually start from the middle and work outwards and then I do the same again because if I start at this end, sometimes the towel might stretch further than the top one and it will stitch along and you can end up with the hood further along than it should be. If you start in the middle and sew out and then again, you, you can't run into problems that way. And um, obviously what I do is the top the top thread will be in yellow, the bobbin thread will be in blue. Um, and so that, that's all that happens is that's just stitched along and then we're, we've done the hooded part. So that's how you actually compile the towel together. Um, and then obviously you do different designs accordingly. So here's the, start, the towel stitched together, blue on that side, yellow on that side. Um, so we have our hooded towel compiled, uh, I actually put woody on one side and buzz on the other and I did the sheriff badge on the bottom and I did my niece, uh, great niece's initial G in the cowboy font. Um, so yes, so that's my towel finished, but that's how you compile a, a hooded towel anyway.